fourth-year RTA student Alex Weidich and his father always bonded over a love for film. This bond was tested when Alex's father gradually lost his sight due to degenerative eye disease, going fully blind in his late 40s. But their affection for cinema endured. Alex would describe what he was seeing on the screen while watching movies with his dad. 20 years later, Alex now writes and directs his own films. The young filmmaker has been working tirelessly on his final RTA project, a film called Sound and Vision about a man who loses his sight. The main character's departure from a highly visual and colorful world and his entry into an image-free one is a harrowing story, one that Wydich tributes to his father. I think Sound and Vision came from, I'd say, two distinct places. Um, the first place was, I think, just wanting to tell a story that kind of represented this character that is the person who, you know, raised me. Um, my dad lost his sight when I was super young, and I feel like he's such an interesting person. <laughs> he's very different, especially from what you would expect the stereotype of, you know, someone who's lost their sight to be. And so I kind of just started building a character based on that and, you know, made him a little bit more dramatic, you know, kind of added things and took away things. And he kind of built into this person. And I thought this was a really interesting character to build a short around to, you know, build something creative around. Creating a visual experience about what it's like to live with a lack of sight poses an interesting challenge. Alex and his sound engineer, Michael Smith, found that the best way to show viewers what blindness looks like is through a blend of sound and unique lighting techniques. Rory is, out of necessity, just very aware of like the resonances of what he hears and his memories. And so that's kind of the, our way into his character and the way that he's dealing with not only that he became blind in middle life, or uh, sorry, in middle age, but just the culmination of all the choices he made, good and bad, and the way that he approached his relationships and his life and his career and his family. And sound is our way to kind of follow him because he's kind of a reticent man and he doesn't necessarily always say what he's thinking unless he's angry. Uh, so we're kind of going to use sound design to add that emotional glue to his story. And then I kind of started to play with, you know, how you would shoot that and, you know, how you could, you know, make his world come to life. And um, the more I thought about that, that kind of led me to the second reason for why I decided to do this was that uh, going into my thesis film, uh, I wanted to create a project that would be something that I could realistically shoot and create. And um, in a Ryerson studio is a place where I could create a project like this with, you know, just a simple black backdrop and some actors and a couple props. I could build this world of Rory, the lead character. Ryerson alum Kevin Shaw is the program manager for entrepreneurship and innovation at the Canadian National Institute for the Blind. Shaw served as a consultant for the film. He says films like Sound and Vision are important for informing people what living with blindness is like, helping to destroy misconceptions about the visually impaired community. I think ventures like, like Alex's are, are important because there's a, there's a certain element of, of awareness that needs to happen in, I guess, the sighted population. So there are a lot of cliches around uh, uh, blindness and, and partial sight. So you have to count your steps or you're incapable of doing everything on your own or you know you've, you've got to feel someone's face to figure out what they look like so um, those are I mean those are popular sort of cliches in, in entertainment and really easy to uh, draw on when you're when you're a writer and you're not experienced with that for people to see folks with sight loss as you know not being heroes and not being victims but just as, as regular people that's what is key Sound and Vision is currently in post-production. Once it's complete in February, Alex says he plans to screen the film at Ryerson. If you want to support Alex and his team, you can donate to the film on their Indiegogo page. Max Asper, Ryersonian TV.